Forbidden Fruit is part of a series that's based on Alice in Wonderland. And a friend once told me that when she looked at my work, she felt as if she fell through the rabbit hole. And in reading the book, I um, recognized the similarities between the book and my work, such as in my paintings, I create a world that's whimsical and mysterious, very much like Wonderland. And also, when I was reading the book, I found myself grasping for meaning. And most of the people who look at my work are always looking for an explanation. So the number 82 is the year I was born, 1982. And 910, I use that number because it's one away from 911, which is an emergency. And so I kind of have crows looming over this figure's head as if something is going to happen to this person. The watermelons I use because they ha kind of have a dual nature, like with race they can have negative connotations, but it's a very fun fruit that's meant to be shared and kind of bring people together. Um, the letter A, it's actually like one of the hieroglyphs, like it was originally, it originated as an ox head, was like the letter A in hieroglyphs, so that is based off an ox, the figure, so I kind of threw that in too. <laughs> and the mushrooms, because this was um, inspired by the caterpillar story when he was smoking the hookah pipe in Alice in Wonderland. I like to keep my paintings open to multiple interpretations because I feel like it keeps the painting relevant and exciting.